I wanted to be completely transparent and honest with you in this video. And this is not a humorous, sarcastic video, unlike the video that I posted the other day called Why Am No Longer Vegan, which was completely the opposite of this video. So a lot of people, when they saw the title of this video and actually watched it, freaked out because they thought that I was no longer on a vegan diet, which I'm gonna elaborate on that in more detail so you can actually learn the truth that I am eating no animal-based food whatsoever since I made my diet changes around 30 days ago. So yeah, around 30 days ago, I had announced through a certain video, which is this green one, which say vegan YouTubers quit vegan diet and I do too. And in this video, I did not tell people what diet I had switched to because one reason was I wanted to experiment with a new diet for around 30 days before I started sharing it with people in case it didn't work out for me and I just wanted to give it a good run for its money and then make a 30 day video talking about my experience with it. And a lot of people speculated that I was eating a carnivore diet or a ketogenic diet. A lot of people thought a vegan keto diet, but they were the main three once. So obviously this played with people's psychology. Loads of people put their own views in the comments section on that video saying which diet that I'd switched to. And I just wanted to get people thinking and see what people's reaction would be. And as I stated in that video many times, I quit a high carbohydrate vegan diet that I've been eating for around five years, which a lot of people picked up on that in the video. And I mentioned that in the description of the video and there's a lot of people that didn't for understandable reasons. And then I wanted to do a series of different videos that I planned to do over that 30 day period of time. And then after that, one was talking about why the ketogenic diet works for weight loss. So that got a lot of people thinking I was eating a meat-based ketogenic diet because I didn't say that it was just a meat-based ketogenic diet that could give you weight loss benefits. Any type of ketogenic diet can, whether it's vegan or not. Then I made one which, yeah, why the ketogenic diet works for weight loss, which is there. Then I made another video here with old crazy Siri Ridge and Sean Baker called Raw Carnivore Diet or Cooked, which is best. And I made that video just to play with people's minds again. And as many people noticed that I wasn't really necessarily promoting a carnival diet, saying why it could work for some people. I didn't necessarily say it was a really, really good diet or anything like that, or that I was eating that diet or recommend that people switch to it whatsoever. And then I did a couple of other videos. This one, updating you on my new diet with the meat and that, as you can see there. So I gave people an update on my diet, told them how it was going a little bit, but didn't give any massive clues as to what diet I was on. Yet some people realized that I said that I lost a lot of water weight quickly, which happens on a ketogenic diet. So some people believe it's a ketogenic diet due to that. Then I made a video called Shocking, which you can see all these emoticons on the front throwing up. Shocking food poisoning on my new diet, which if you haven't seen that, I wanna know why I got food poisoning. I'll put a link for it up above, but a lot of people thought that I got food poisoning from fish or meat for understandable reasons. And then I posted a silent video called Five Year Vegan Eats Burgers, Bacon, Cheese and Eggs, which a lot of people actually believed that they were the real deal and not vegan replica of those specific foods. And that was a silent video. So again, I was playing with people's mind and seeing what they thought. And a lot of people freaked out, a lot of people unsubscribed, a lot of people posted all of their personal opinions, a lot of me is like, yeah, another person's got the meat team, which is, yeah, an, another topic for another video. And then, yeah, I posted my why I'm no longer a vegan video, which I had made this video to be one of the most sarcastic, humorous videos that I've ever made on this channel. And it was posted on April the 1st, which is April Fool's Day. And I wanted to make this video in a different way to catch people's attention 
and actually keep them focused upon the video, which worked really well and draw a lot of people in. So you can set a specific type of clickbait video. But in that video, where I was being humorous and sarcastic, I was talking about a lot of things that I had done in the past to make me mess up on a vegan diet so I didn't fry on a vegan diet and what so many of these other big vegan YouTubers that have quit have done to not fry on a vegan diet. So I wanted to make people aware of so many different things that people do on a vegan diet to make it not work for the best for them, which then has made so many people go in the direction of thinking they need animal foods to actually thrive with their health holistically, which is completely untrue. If you know how to thrive on a vegan diet, then it will work the best for you. And what I can say is from my own personal experience many years ago where I was eating a very restrictive vegan fruitarian diet, I ran into so many nutritional deficiencies, so then I started eating a broader spectrum of whole foods rather than just raw foods and found out what the nutritional deficiencies were, started taking the supplements to correct them and then I actually resolved all my health issues and symptoms on a vegan diet so then I could thrive on it until this current date where we are now, where I'm still on a vegan diet. So no, I'm not eating meat whatsoever. I haven't eaten meat or animal-based food since the beginning of 2013 for many different reasons. Yes, I got into it first for health, but then I learned about the impact a non-vegan diet has on the environment and the animals. So then I learned about all the different reasons why a vegan diet is really good. And that is what made me stay on a vegan diet many years ago and still up until this current point. And the reason as well why I wanted to do these series of videos is wanting to catch a lot of people's attention and really shine a light on veganism and actually promote veganism in a very positive way. Yes, there is many people that have not thrived on a vegan diet and now not eating a vegan diet, but there is also many people out there that have been on a diet for years and years and years, more specifically a vegan diet such as myself, and that I found that it resolved all of our health issues and symptoms, gave us optimal hormone production and mental health and energy levels, and that you can also thrive on a vegan diet if you're doing a vegan diet in the correct way, which is so many people that do so many stupid things that make it so they actually destroy their health on a vegan diet, then they blame the vegan diet, it's not the vegan diet. There's some things that they need to address which are known as the root causes of the issues. And by then addressing them, you could thrive on a vegan diet like I did many years ago. And so many people take their health into their own hands. And what I tell you now is all the people that are vegan YouTubers that now are not vegan anymore are not health experts whatsoever. And to be honest, they needed to find people that are some of the leading experts on how to thrive on a vegan diet, maybe get coaching from them or learn the information that they can implement in their lifestyle and get the test done if they need specific tests done to find out what's going on and then they could go in the direction of actually addressing the root cause of the issue so then they can stay on a vegan diet. So yeah, I love a vegan diet, it works for me, so why would I not eat a vegan diet whatsoever? And I love experimentation, so this is why I wanted to try out the vegan keto diet. I've been thinking about it for ages, and as I mentioned in my 30 day vegan keto diet experimentation video, which I put a link for up above, is that I'm not necessarily gonna to stay to this vegan keto diet. There's gonna be many days where I will eat vegan keto, but I have decided to go in the direction of eating the most healthiest, balanced, whole foods, plant-based vegan diet. So I'm getting the broadest spectrum of foods, and this broadest spectrum of nutrients possible so I can have the best health and digestion holistically on this vegan diet so I can actually stick to it long term rather than it not working for me and then me suffering and then me maybe contemplating actually going back to eating animal foods which to be honest if you want to thrive on a vegan diet you can thrive on a vegan diet, you just need to find the answers. And for people that have not been thriving on a vegan diet, they just haven't found the answers, they've been doing the wrong things that have just made their health issues and symptoms get worse. And for me, I will always find the answer because it is my number one priority to stay on a vegan diet for my health and also for the animals because I do not want to use my hard earned money on certain foods that have harmed animals in the process because I love animals, they are friends, not food. And no matter how hungry I am when I'm out and about, I see cows and chickens and other animals roaming around here in Thailand. Not once do I ever salivate at them and I'm ever drawn to eat them whatsoever. So for me, mentally, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And if I see an animal that has been run over or their life 
has been ended through some traumatic incident outside in this world. And I see it, it freaks me out because I don't like seeing that at all. And I am not a carnivore. Unlike a lion that would salivate at that type of thing and eat it and not be freaked out at all. I'm a very compassionate, empathic being. And I'm very in touch with my heart and my emotions and my emotion body. So morally and ethically for me, it doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And then if you do your research and look into scientific studies and information that actually have things to back up the claims people are making, you see that a vegan diet is one of the diets that has the least impact on our environment. And in today's world, our environment is being destroyed, especially to mass production of livestock that are just being bred and enslaved and then having their lives ended just for you to have meat and dairy and eggs and all these other more animal-based foods on your plate. And if you do your research into it, the livestock industry, the CO2 produced from all those animals from around the world actually produces more CO2 than the whole transportation system combined. And the rainforest is being completely destroyed due to what is going on with this industry as well. And I'm not someone that's too educated on all of this stuff. There's people that are way more educated. So if you want to learn more on this, do your own research up online because it's something to be very aware of. So yeah, for health reasons, animals, and the environment, it just makes sense to me to eat a vegan diet. And a lot of people say, well, vegans are actually having a massive negative effect on the environment due to the amount of soy and corn that is being produced. Which yes, those foods being produced in abundance can, and a lot of time are having a negative effect on the environment. But guess what? Most of the corn and soy gets fed to livestock that is then made into meat and put within shops for you to then buy. So I'm gonna continue on my vegan diet, and yeah, maybe down the line, I won't be thriving on a vegan diet, certain hair pushes and symptoms will come up like I've had many, many years ago, but like I said, I always find the answer. And I can guarantee you now, if you offered a million dollars to someone that's not thriving on a vegan diet, and you said, I would give you a million dollars if you can thrive on a vegan diet, they would find a way. I can pretty much guarantee you. So it just depends how much of it a priority is it for you to stay on a vegan diet. Because for me, it is absolutely huge. So I will do everything and anything in my power to always thrive on a vegan diet because it just makes sense to me in all the different ways that I've mentioned and for many other reasons as well. And I would like to say that would I ever contemplate eating meat ever? Yeah, there could be a time where I may be contemplate eating it and I may think about it. And I have had that happen at certain points on my vegan diet. But then I just go into the state of going, no, I'm on the diet for this reason, that reason, that reason. And just because I'm not thriving on the vegan diet when that has come up for me, I've always found the solution. So yeah, it is as simple as that. And I'll keep you updated on my own journey at all times with what's going on. And I'm gonna try and make a lot more vegan videos on this channel. And if you haven't seen, I used to be super skinny, weak and frail on a specific restrictive fruit-based vegan diet. And I went from this to this within a year period of time with eating a vegan diet, doing intermittent fasting and consistent calisthenics training, which is body weight training. And I can tell you now, during that whole year, and still up until this current point now, which has been around two years since I transformed my body, I've noticed that my health, holistically, just gets better and better every single year. Unlike a lot of people, they get on a vegan diet, they thrive on it for a while, and then long term they find it doesn't work for them. So for me, it's just always onwards and upwards because I'm doing the right things consistently to actually thrive on a vegan diet, learning from the right people that actually base a lot of what they share with people on science. And due to that, I make it work for me in the best way that I can. So yeah, it's all good, don't worry. I'm not gonna go back to eating animal foods anytime soon or anytime in the future. And a lot of people even notice, I have this tattoo, Ahimsa, which this is Sanskrit for non-violence and compassion to all living beings. So this includes animals, such as fish and our land animals, such as cows and chickens and humans and all of these other living things. 
So yeah, I didn't just get this tattoo for the fun of it. As I mentioned in the humorous, sarcastic video, I said, oh, I just got this because it was for the look. I actually got this because of the meaning behind it. So a himsa for life. And yeah, it just means so much to me to live the most non-violent lifestyle that I possibly can. Yes, a lot of vegan foods that are plant foods out there, these whole foods, animals can get harmed during the process of them being harvested. But at least I know that I'm not consciously paying for food where they are intentionally going out of the way to harm the animal in so many different ways and then end its life. If yes, there is a tractor or some type of machinery going for a wheat field and some animals and some insects go for it, then yeah, that can't be completely avoided. But that is just, yeah. Something that a lot of non-vegans will say to vegans. Oh, you're harming animals anyway, even to think you're not. So it's not a completely vegan diet and cruelty-free diet. And it's like, oh God. It's just a lot of people are tr trying to think of things to justify what they are doing. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll get back as soon as possible. If you like the video, like it down below. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. And please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to hear about this important video that I've shared with you today and you've watched fully. At least if you're listening to me now, you have watched the video pretty much to the end. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on veganism, calisthenics, workout and progression videos, what I eat and do in a day videos, weight loss, intermittent fasting and many other different videos to inspire you and motivate you and teach the right information to go in direction to gain and maintain the body side, the fitness levels and the energy levels as well. Well, so if this type of video sounds good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. And what I want to mention is I've only made this video about two to three times and I just made it the best that I ever made it out of all the other times. So yeah, thank you universe, whether you believe in God, Buddha, the universe, whatever you're into, that was definitely meant to happen. I knew it was meant to happen. So yeah, we smashed it and made it really good. So that's why I feel so happy and smiling a lot. So yeah. I hope you're gonna enjoy my new videos in the future. Make sure you do click the subscribe button down below if you wanna be notified of when new videos are uploaded and you click the bell notification button next subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.